This is the 2021 Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment Number Two. Say some. Thank you to our sponsors: Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewing America, All Stainless Steel Mash Paddle Sponsors. Also, Hopsteiner and Yakima Chief Hops. Get brewing. <laughs> Everybody, Gary Mean Brew Guy here. I am finally starting the Saison Hub Number no. Two Yeast Experiment, and I'm going to kick it off with the boys at Exit 12 Brewing. And yeah, I got to put my cheaters on. All right, so they brewed this on May 15th. The OG was 1060, nailed it. Uh, the final gravity was uh, 1012. They used Imperial Rustic uh, B56, fermented at 69. Uh, then at 71 for four days and then it cold crashed for four days. So they can and they use the big pounder cans. Uh, the label's fantastic. It has all the sponsors on there. Let me get the uh, spectacles off. All right, let's get the pour. Let's try not to do a savage pour. Um, by default, uh, Saison should be highly carbonated. Um, so most of them are gonna probably exhibit a pretty hefty head here in the summer heat of Florida. Um, just the contrast in temperature is gonna cause this to like be a savage pour. But uh, the, the head is nice tight bubbles, it's fairly clear as you can see through the, the drool cam there. The bubbles are streaming up through the bottom. All right, let's get to see if I can get a nose up off this. Yeah, so I get more like a, I do get the Saison, but I also get like a, a breadiness, like, um, like white dough bread. Very faint underneath that Saison farmhouse kind of peppery quality. There's definitely that pepperiness there. Smells really, really nice. I'm really fond of this recipe, so I'm really kind of curious, like beyond all doubt, of what all these uh, yeast will do to this beer. So, all right, enough yapping. Wow, that is fantastic. I'm not kidding. This thing has a really nice, silky, smooth mouth feel to it. You get that peppery kind of farmhouse Saison quality at the beginning, but it's not like pungent. It's balanced nicely. I do get a bit of the malt there, but not that. I'm not getting that white bread dough th kind of thing. That's just barely underlying, which is pleasant, by the way. It's not It's not a, uh, a negative descriptor, it's just a descriptor. Uh, my allergy pill has worn off, so I'm a little sniffly there, sorry. Oh yeah, 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 that's got a nice bready quality to it, like more to the white dough, like you're making bread, um, with, uh, with a lot of like farmhouse, but not a lot, but with that farmhouse peppery Saison quality there. God, that's really, really nice. Wow, that, that mouthfeel is so round and smooth and silky on the tongue. It just, but it's, it's light. It's not over, I mean, it's a, I mean, they're big beers. They're fairly hefty beers. Uh, a French Saison is usually not this high, but this recipe just does so well in this this gravity range that I can't I has I had to take it out of style because it just it just does so well. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh my god. Maybe even has a little bit of a, a slight bubblegum quality to it on the on the palate. But I may just be sort of uh, uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um I might be 
being fooled by the uh, by how smooth and silky that mouthfeel is. I mean, not to break my arm patting my own back, but the recipe is solid. Um, there's an appropriate amount of bitterness through, you know, but and it's just enough to balance the sweetness. There's no like IPA bitterness there, um, and it uh, it's so appropriate. It's really crushable. Hmm. I'm going to grade this, but I could ramble on and on, but I really, really like this, this yeast combination with this, uh, with this, uh, recipe. Wow, guys, strong work. All right. On to the next one, but I got to finish this first. So maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.